watching us on PrisonPlanet.tv. I know I've been talking about this since yesterday, but the poll has now uh, closed out with over 200,005 votes, and it's geolocated. You can only vote once. Ron Paul got 57.8%. But now in this new Orwellian world, 14.3, 14.3 uh, is uh, basically almost uh, you know half of 57, even though in the real world it isn't. Now they had it even more skewed a day ago, and they got caught uh, when when he had uh, you know 20 something more points than Mitt Romney. Uh, it barely on the graph was a millimeter bigger, and so they've gone ahead and expanded it out some. I guess Ron Paul's defeating. Uh, them so bad that their graph can't even you know go off the page. I mean, it, uh, he's got 57.8 percent of uh, of the 100 uh, percent, but we're told Bachman's a big uh, big leader with 1.8, Herman Cain with 3 percent, Newt Gingrich, uh, you might as well elect Mousy Tongue, uh, has 4 percent, John Huntsman with 6, Rick Perry 12.1. Mitt Romney, 14.3. And I can't believe my good friend last night went ahead and told me that he knew Rick Perry real well from a country club over many years when he was lieutenant governor. Not lieutenant governor, it was before, uh, when he was agriculture secretary. Uh, and that Rick Perry was giving him anti-New World Order stuff. <laughs> just, that makes it even worse, man. That's what I mean. That's what's so bad about Rick Perry. Uh, is that he knows all this stuff and has decided to sell out but that he can also act like a patriot good because he used to be into it. I don't know. That really freaks me out. I wonder if the globalists like knowing that Rick Perry used to not like the New World Order. Because anybody with, a, with their head screwed on is not going to like the New World Order. I mean, it's a bad vision of humanity. It's not a nice place to go. These are some ugly, ugly-minded people.